teacher Bernadette and welcome to our sensory activity for this week. Now this week we are looking at the theme of countries around the world and one of my favorite countries is Italy because Italy has some amazing ice cream. So we're going to make ice cream inspired sensory bags. So what you're going to need is a permanent marker. You can use any color you have, any thickness you have, it doesn't matter some Ziploc bags and just to be safe, especially the younger you are, just add some tape um, around the opening to make sure that it doesn't burst out and then some scissors to cut the tape if that's what you're going to use and then for the inside of our bags I'm going to use rice and pasta, you can use dried beans, beads, blocks, anything you have and also we're going to need some clear shampoo or conditioner or anything or even bubble bath if you have some sunlight soap and some stay soft just to show you that there are different ways that we can do it and a spoon to measure out the rice, pasta, beans, beads, whatever you are going to use um, so and you're also going to need some water. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our ice cream cone. So you're going to lie a bag flat and you're going to make an ice cream cone. Now it sounds difficult, but trust me, it's very easy. All you have to do or ask mommy to help you do is to draw a triangle, an upside down triangle. So we're just going to draw, you can draw as many triangles as you want. For this bag, I'm going to do two triangles. Okay, so we've drawn our upside down triangles. Now, because there are two triangles on this bag, I'm going to add two tablespoons of rice. So we're going to count. One, two, okay. and then we're going to add, hmm, let's add the shampoo to this one. So we're going to add two squeezes of shampoo. So we're going to go one, two, okay. And then we're going to add just a little bit of water. We're going to count to two. We're going to go one, two, okay. and then we're going to make sure all the air is out of the bag, or as much air as possible, and we're going to close it. Now, if you are scared that the water is going to pop out, all you're going to do is take some tape and open it, and you're going to put it half on the one side, I'll show you now, so that that's all open on that side, we're going to cut it, and you're going to sneeze if you have to, remember to use your elbow, and then you're going to fold it to cover the top. And you're going to have a little bit left over, but that's fine, because then you can just fold it again. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to flatten out everything, and you are going to move your rice to make an ice cream cone. Okay, so you're going to just move it with your fingers, and you're going to try and make a circle. You can use both hands. And then you can hold the one ice cream in place while you're busy with the other one to try and make ice cream cones. Now, if you want to make it colorful, what you can do is you can add some food coloring to it. Um, so I'll show you that as well, but I'm going to do that one in fast motion just so that you can see the different types of bags that we can make.
Lauren Century ice cream bags with whichever liquid you have. Soap does work the best. Um, if you have something bigger like beans or dried dried beans, beads, as I said, that would be fine. And if you are scared, you can add tape just to make sure it doesn't burst out. You can add food coloring. I didn't because all my things already had color in it. Um, but you can do that for sure. And then any permanent marker can even be a color marker as long as it's permanent because you are going to be rubbing on the plastic and you don't want your fingers to become dirty. So there's your fun sensory activity. I hope you have fun with this and make as many bags as you can so that you can practice not only using your fingers as your sense of touch, but also practicing making those fingers nice and strong. So I'll see you all next week for some more fun activities. Bye everyone.